What is up YouTube and welcome to this MCU video. So if you are new to the channel, please do drop a like and subscribe down below. And well, what I've got here is a very curious theory I was I gained while I was watching Captain America Civil War last night. Now my Black Panther review is up on the channel you can watch. It's a bit spoilery, so I wouldn't really I would take risks if you're scared about spoilers. And you can actually come back after you watch the movie. My Easter eggs video will be up tomorrow and I will be doing a summarization of today's comic books, which is really, really, a really good week for comics here, actually. So I want to present a theory here about the introduction of the Fantastic Four to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So if we go to Captain America Civil War, the movie starts off with one of the most traumatic moments of the life of of Tony Stark, the moment when his parents were killed and when he actually said goodbye to them. Now, one thing I found interesting on my billionth watch of this is the fact that he mentions that he wishes the scene happened how it did in his bath machine. And I would hope, I would like to see a scene of that where it actually happened. So he came out with this this bath machine and mentioned that it cost, I think it was about $600 million or something like that, cost an absolute fortune. And, well, it is an important piece of technology, which maybe it doesn't, won't have the best technological application, as a business applications, that kind of thing, so it won't make money. But he comes out and funds the entirety of the MIT students' projects. So one thing I want to bring to you here is the fact that I find it weird that if Reed Richards and the Fantastic Four joined the MCU, I would find it really weird if they already existed. So we would need an origin story, and they would need to be a bit younger than Tony Stark, in my opinion. So I think that we could have Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, be one of the students who's had one of their projects funded. So he has this funded, and then he goes on to have his career. So we could have a project that will make him really, really rich. And what could happen is that this will allow him to actually buy the Avengers Tower. As we know, in Spider-Man Homecoming, Avengers Tower has been emptied, evacuated, or not even evacuated, kind of moved out. And there is a new buyer. Who else better than having Fantastic Four Reed Richards buy this tower? Now, it is iconic that you've got Avengers, the Avengers Mansion, the Avengers Tower, and you've also got the Baxter Building of the Fantastic Four and the Sanctum Sanctorum as one of the most iconic parts in Marvel's New York. So, this could actually turn into the Baxter Building. It could have, maybe that could have been the original name of this. And then we see Reed actually buy this. So, we could have some sort of Doctor Strange introduction where we kind of learn about his history and things like that, where he buys the tower after receiving this grant and then he becomes super rich and wants to fund a starship expedition now his starship expedition could be what gives them their powers so after the events of infinity war and captain marvel we could see that the u.s government wants to explore these universities these other worlds a lot more in depth and discover more threats so they could use the technology of reed richard's and the rest of the Fantastic Four initially to go and search for other life and find ways to stop Thanos perhaps in the meantime. So this could be in between Avengers or, or Infinity War and Avengers 4, which is a bit of a long shot. I would like that. But maybe after in the aftermath of everything, they realise they weren't exactly properly, adequately prepared for an other world threat. And this could lead them to explore. However, there is radiation the van allen belt this could cause them to actually become who they are ben Grimm could turn into the rock thing sue storm could turn invisible johnny could turn on fire and reed could turn into one stretchy boy so i think that this would be a fantastic introduction but it would mean that they would be a bit younger they would be a bit younger and kind of a silicon valley tech kid now we we love the idea of an older reed richards i personally would like that but in the MCU, it wouldn't fit in the idea that having an older Reed Richards w wouldn't fit because we've not heard of him so far. And if he's so 
clever, so powerful, so big, why haven't we heard of it? However, that could be the Doctor Strange thing. While we have in the background of the MCU, we could have him amassing his power just under the radar like Doctor Strange was. He he went to his sacred land to gain his powers and things like that. But in this this instance, I think it would be a bit interesting to have it an a or a kind of origin set up afterwards. Yes, it would be it is a really, really big long shot. It's just a theory, it probably won't happen, and we're not going to be getting the Fantastic Four and the MCU for a very, very long time. At least three years, I think, would be the time. Even if we've also got to wait for the whole of the MCU, the kind of the Marvel, Disney, Fox merger to actually go through. So let me know what you think in the comments. Please drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.